Hello everyone, I'm Jay from TechForce and welcome to another case study. Uh, today we are looking at Marriott um, because Marriott um, today, as of today, ICO has announced, Information Commissioner's Office in UK has announced Marriott could be facing, uh, well Marriott it already is facing 99.2 million pounds fine um, for the infringements of the GDPR regulation, right? That's serious. That's a lot of money. And if you remember, British Airways was already facing from yesterday's news. They British Airways is facing 183.3 or 83.4 million pounds. That's a lot of money, right? That's 282 million for ICO in just one week. There is only one four letter word for it. Damn, that's a lot of money, right? Anyway, so why Marriott is facing this fine? What happened? Um, if you don't know what happened, here is a video for you on what could happen next as well. So Marriott, as we all know, it's a big hotelier. They have hotels across the world. It's a $20 billion um, revenue company. Um, you know, so what they did in 2016 is they acquired a comp another um, hotel chain called Starwood Hotels in 2016, right? At the time, um, what they didn't realize is the, the hackers, the alleged Chinese hackers um, group, which already in the systems of Starwood Hotels, and they already stole the data, but they were still in the systems. Marriott didn't do their due diligence um, um, carefully as per ICO's investigation. And um, they only discovered this breach, the, the hack, in 2018. So they took almost four years to discover this, right? So 2014, the hackers got into Starwood Auto Hotel Systems. 2016, Marriott acquired them, um, and 2018, they discovered and they let the ICO know by the end of 20, 2018. And IT, uh, they, they um, were collaborating or, uh, or working with ICO, uh, supporting the investigation. And in the end, the investigation has concluded and ICO has issued a notice saying, we intend to fine you and 99.2 million pounds for the breach of GDPR. So what happened is 339 million records, like the bookings were stolen from the, their systems, which means um, it's not 339 million unique customer records. You know, there, there could be people staying there, you know, multiple times. So um, that, out of 339, 30 million records are related to the EU personnel, European citizens, um, and 7 million is UK citizens. So um, that's why they are facing a fine because they didn't do their due diligence well enough and they haven't taken the precautions to um, minimize the risk, right? So what happens now? Um, Marriott will have a representation and they will fight the case, they will appeal um, and um, they will hopefully try to reduce the fine. But let's see, it's an interesting case, right? Um, that's two in a week, British Airways and the Marriott and two in two days as well. Wow, right? That's, um, that's just, you know. So for, Lessons learned from this experience is about, I will, I'll put it very simply, take the security seriously. Cyber security, take it seriously. If you think it won't happen to you, it's only a matter of time. And every one of us, it's only a matter of time. We need to protect our data. We need to take this privacy seriously. We need to protect the personal data and our business, right? So if, you know, usually the fines, GDPR fines are um, for the infringement of GDPR regulation, 4% uh, of the global turnover or 20 million pounds, whichever is the highest. So for most of us, small businesses, if you're watching this, 
that's 20 million and that should put us straight out of the business period and all right so who do you want to be known as do you want to be known as a person that killed your business because you didn't take security seriously I'm sure you don't want to be known as the person right take it seriously get started if you haven't started get started somewhere you know they uh, really uh, low-hanging fruit get your password uh, policies right get the uh, two-factor authentication for your for your users um, educate your users train them you know uh, provide the training uh, measure how the training is working and also um, um, do a security assessment uh, maybe go for cyber essential certification cyber essentials plus a vulnerability scan you know number of things you can you can you can get started with but I would say cyber essentials would be a really good starting point right um, <clears throat> as well as maybe do a, a penetration test um, but before you do anything right audit your data where is your data where are your ass assets what are you trying to protect what risk are you trying to mitigate right and then uh, classify your data what's confidential what's not so much what data do you still need what you don't most of the businesses we speak to lots of businesses right and they keep the data there which they don't need it anymore and if you're keeping a data that you don't need it anymore remember you still have to protect it so it's easier to just delete the data you don't need uh, you don't need to keep on uh, makes your makes your job easy right so yeah classify your data find out where the risk is or try to minimize the risk and get the low hanging fruit first and then get, go for cyber essentials and take it from there take a step further up vulnerability assessment take a step further up penetration testing and all those um, good things right so the, the the message is clear ico is there they are doing their work and you know 183 million pounds for british airways 99 million pounds for um married hotels you know this could this could go wrong seriously wrong for most of us if you need help uh, get in touch with us um i'm jay from tech force and we can absolutely help you protect your business uh, from you know happening from 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 this so right thank you very much um, let me know what you think of this video and let me know what uh, case study you would like to see next. Thank you very much.